this is our true quality we are supposed to be happy all the time all the day but no happiness it comes and goes out like clouds but it that is not our true nature that is not our true quality because we just forgot ourselves we are operating from our limited self we are not able to experience this happy joy and bliss so we are all going to experience this we're going to practice this and you experience this and it will become your reality so i want to stress again that this is very very easy and simple steps to connect your higher self once you are connected to yourself you got your own guru know the truth know who you are and what are your qualities that is unified unless you are not ready for this kind of course this kind of techniques and practice you won't be here so you are ready in this selection process so just next few weeks the eight weeks if you commit yourself and if you continue to practice every day it is not going to take a long time it's hardly take 15 to 20 minutes you read the chapter every week and you practice it and you see the difference in your life so this is based on the book that knowledge came from mahatar baba ji and the author who has written is roger g lamfer i spoke to the author he is very very happy that we are doing this course again he is truly happy that his knowledge is going into the people this is much needed this right now and this is a self guided program and self guided course earlier in your life if you want a self realization or enlightenment you must need a guru guru on earth to guide you every step of your progress but now you don't need a physical guru because the darkness on the earth is very less now the few decades ago the darkness is, is too dark that you cannot navigate yourself you definitely need a guru now it is possible that you can get enlightened with this unified course because your higher self will be your guide he will be guiding you in every step of your life every decision that you make and the truth will be channeled to you the truth is within you and that truth can be this is the first day so i'm trying to give the introduction and the importance of the course so that you you know what it, what the course can do to you so two things that we should know what who is baba ji what is unified and how to practice it and what is the structure of the program first thing baba ji mahatar baba ji is an enlightened master who is now taking care of the earth and moving it towards the truth and enlightenment of everyone on the earth he is aspiring that everybody should get enlightened everybody should get self realized and he is guiding every single one on here and he be, he has been on the earth for more than 2000 years people say and he is still in the physical form and he is still available for everyone this is most important he is still available for everyone right i know so many people in the group channel baba ji i am promising you that in the next few weeks you will have one way or other way you will connect with baba ji and he will be guiding you right so that is baba ji he is like friend and master and guru for all of us and he is with us i'm here for sure and what is unified unified is easy and simple practical steps to connect to higher self and know the truth know who you are and what are your qualities okay once you know your qualities and you know how the life will be of a self realized person and so and this is going to be we will be doing one practice for full week so that we master the technique 
and the practice. And every practice has a certain out outcome. And if you get that outcome, you mastered it. And we will be doing it together here because when you do it together as a group consciousness, as a group energy, you get elevated. Once you get elevated, it's easy to experience that God qualities within you. And it's easy to master the practice. That is the reason we are here. And as new people, some people may not get it. So we guide them, help them in every step of it. Otherwise, you can do it yourself if you're committed and if you know how to do it. But we are coming together doing it. It's more easier and a helping hand for each one of us. So that is unified. So the reason why we divided in level, different levels is if you do in straight six months, some people not able to catch up and they're dropping or some people need more than one week to master one of the practice. So if you don't give enough time and if you cannot master it, it is you, you lose the commitment, you lose the encouragement to join. Right. So that's why we are separating it so that you are able to complete every week practice and this time it, it in the whole course will be like 10 months or so so we're dividing into levels so we, after level we'll give three four weeks extra time so that you know whatever you're not able to complete you can complete right my dear friends that is unified so i want to stress again that this is very very easy and simple steps connect to your higher self once you are connected to yourself you got your own guru and every step of your life will be guided by your guru. Once you're connected, I always tell this, it's like a computer with internet and computer without internet. Nowadays, if there is no internet, your computer is almost nothing. It cannot do anything. Right now, everything has internet. And if a computer with internet, it has access to the entire data in the world. Right. Same way you when you're connected with higher self, you're connected to the universe and you know everything in the universe. You know everything what is happening, what will happen and what happened in the past. That means you know the truth. Once you know the truth, how your life will be. Imagine. So you will be living the life of happiness, abundance, joy. All will flow into your life. Right, my dear friends? So that is unified. So with that, I once again welcome you all for unified. I wish you all the best. We are here to help you all the time. Just join every day for 40 minutes to one hour and see you how your life will transform. It is a definitely great blessing from Babaji that we have this course available in this earth. And this kind of course was never possible and was never available because of the darkness on the earth. It wouldn't have possible in the past, but now it is possible. The self-taught course is possible now. And we did for two times and we are doing it again. And thousands of people are doing in the world. So it is definitely possible. So and we will do it and we are here to do it. Okay, my dear friends, with that, let us get started with the first week practice. That is, and if you don't have the book, you can read it from the pdf or if you have the book that is the best thing that you can have invest like few dollars and get this book and have this because the reason you need the book is you need to read it every day it is just few pages three pages sometimes two pages you have to read it every day to understand that and then live with that that day. Since you have to read it every day, if you have a book in hand, that's easy to read. How the, the way how I read, I read one sentence and I close my eyes and try to grasp a truth in that. Also grasp it and you can easily live on that, my dear friends. That's why I, I strongly recommend have this book. We have to read it every day. It's just five minutes maybe. But have the book on reading it so easy. 
so he read that so with that the first week is centering in the heart so what is bab what bab is saying so centering in the heart means connecting yourself to your heart that means connecting to the god and baba is saying here is we are all created in the image of the god we are created in the image of the god that means we are the children of the god we got created in the image of the god we have all the qualities that god has but those qualities are not yet surfaced we we kind of forgot it but we have all the qualities what else god has and we have that so so we must understand what is that god qualities and who we are and how what will be the life of a person who has god qualities so all these questions will be the experience of the unified course as you do it you eventually experience that and you you are not bring them you already have that you are bring them to the surface so we are awake in the qualities in us right so we we are already made so remember this we are already made okay it just happened we are made in the image of the god that means whatever the god has you have it everything that god has you have it right so understand this you are already made it just happened all that we need to do is bring those qualities out with our limited self we call it limited self we are all focused on our body and mind this is called our limited self this is not our complete self this is not our whole self so when we work with limited self it's hard to experience our qualities how god qualities when you release ourself and when we work as whole self whole self means the unified self the unified with higher self when you get unified you become whole when you when you get whole then that is where you have to operate in your life but now when we focus on the limited self the body and the mind we are operating with a limited self okay my dear friend this course is unified getting unified with higher self once you get unified you become the whole when you operate from the whole you get all the qualities that you needed all the qualities that already you have it that is specialty the only reason that we don't experience all these qualities in our life all the suffering all the pain or the lack is because we are operating ourselves from the limited self thinking that we are this this body and the mind even though you are beautiful great amazing body but it is still a limited self so once you get unified once you become complete once you become whole your life get transformed naturally okay my dear friends now we said we are made in the image of the god first let us understand the god qualities and apply all the qualities to yourself so let me ask you what can the qualities that you can go to god because god has everything right so there is some at least we will give some qualities and then we'll think of and we'll apply those qualities to ourselves okay friends so first is god is love this is very important friends this is very very important this will continue these qualities will continue till end of the course you need to practice so i will request you to make a note of it it is already there in the book we will also post in the whatsapp group but listen to it and try to understand it 
this is your qualities so god is love okay love that creates everything everything in this universe is created out of the love that love with no love there is nothing does exist in this universe so god is love so you are that so you are the love understand this very important this love that creates everything with no love nothing exists in this universe all right and the god is light second quality is god is light and so you are so you are the light the light that pervades every darkest corner in the universe so you are that light you don't have the light you are the light it is within you and you are that so we are all going to experience this we're going to practice this and you experience this and it will become your reality and the third quality is god is happiness joy and bliss this is our true quality this is our quality we are supposed to be happy all the time all the day but no happiness it comes and goes out like clouds but it that is not our true nature that is not our true quality because we just forgot ourselves we are operating from our limited self we are not able to experience this happy joy and bliss and the next one is god is abundance if god means if god owns everything in this universe that means he has everything in this universe right same way you are made in the image of god you also own everything all the forces of the nature you own it you can utilize it for yourself only reason we feel the lack is we are operating from a limited self thinking this only this small body and this limited mind that is why you don't own it the enlightened person knows that he owns all this universe and he can utilize everything the forces of the nature work with him once you get realized once you know who you are you also can work with this nature forces of the nature we will see that in this course people talk to the animals talk to the plants know everything that's happening around them all this miracles will will see in this course right my dear friend so once you know that once you realize that it's so easy to work with the forces of nature so god is abundance abundance of health abundance of wealth abundance of wisdom most importantly all that you have you have you have, you will have abundance of health and it is a true quality that is a true nature and god is perfect we are so made the image of the god so we are perfect we are perfect in our actions we are perfect in our thoughts and perfect in everything but we forgot that oh i don't have this i don't have that quality i don't have this quality my thoughts are wrong my life is going wrong that is not true my dear friends you need to realize know who you are then your life become perfect and once your life become perfect then you know you are perfect anything that you do you are perfect and the and the last one is god is peace and gentleness so once you come out of your mind and once you know who you are then you understand what is peace everything will be still in your life but still you will be working all the time and you still you don't know you are, you are working because you are at the peace you are with peace with yourself your peace with the universe your peace with the neighbors your peace with the nature and gentleness anything that you speak will be gentle your your walking will be gentle your actions will be gentle you become gentleness you become that divine touch with everything around you right my dear friend so these are some of the qualities but you can give 100 of other qualities too 
for the sake of time and the practice, we give these qualities to God and apply it to ourselves. So now don't think they are other, they are your qualities. And we'll practice this. So I want to stress on these qualities. These qualities, once you bring them out and once you realize that is yours, and you naturally will be connected with higher self. You naturally become the whole self, the complete self. So I strongly request you to read it from the book and understand those qualities. And every day you read it, maybe five minutes, 10 minutes. Okay. And we will do the meditation on the centering in the heart. you and I will tell you the process how to do. Everybody please listen carefully. The instructions how to do the meditation and I also guide you. So and this will we will do this practice for the full week. The guided meditation will be the full week. Before that we will just read out the instructions of the book or the, the highlights of the week. So the meditation is the meditation that we do is called Anapanasata meditation. Observing your natural normal breath. Important. Observing your natural normal breath. You don't have to forcefully inhale or exhale. You don't have to forcefully breathe in, breathe out. Whatever the happen, the way it is happen, let it happen. We just observe it. Okay, the how do we observe? If you sit, cross your legs and sit comfortably. If you sit in the if you sit in the chair, you can also cross the legs. And if you sit on the ground, that's great. Cross your legs and clasp your hands. Please observe this. Clasp your hands for the new people. Okay, put uh, fingers into fingers gently. Put it in your lap and then close your eyes. Don't close it now. Close your eyes and start observing your natural normal breath. After five to seven minutes of doing this, I will slowly guide you to focus on your heart center, center of your chest. A mild focus on your center of chest and just keep your attention there. As you keep your attention there, the natural, the love, the love of the God and the pulsation of the love, you will experience that. And expand that love. You bring out the love within you and experience the love. And this is the way of centering in the heart. The entire course works on centering in the heart. When you when you center yourself in the heart, you will connect with the higher self. If you are in, in your mind, you cannot connect with the higher self. Whole lot of people cannot experience or connect with the higher self because they don't know how to centering, center in the heart. Because heart is the way you connect to the God. Or connect your higher self. Right. So focus on mastering the center, centering in the heart. If you do not master this, you cannot go ahead. You cannot complete the coming weeks. That become very difficult. So you do two times, maybe ten to fifteen minutes. Now we do guided meditation in the evening. If you get a chance, sit yourself for fifteen minutes. And do the centering in the heart. See, you are able to experience the love. If you are able to experience the love, you are instantly connected with the higher self. Once you connect with the higher self, everything becomes so easy. So, I requesting you to focus on how to center in the heart and do it twice, at least the first week. So, with that, I wish you all the best, my dear friends. I am very Blessed you all joined. I'm working together here towards our higher self. And I wish you all the best. And I'm again telling you that we are here to support for anything that you want. Feel free to ask or raise your questions. With that, let's get into meditation. So next 30 minutes, we'll do guided meditation. Focus and get ready for it. Am I audible? Yes, I can hear you. If you want to turn on a video, that will be nice. Uh, actually, it's very dark here. I didn't open my light.
Okay. So everyone is sleeping, so that's why. Uh, I just want uh have one question because I think I miscalculated the time and somehow I got awake, mm -hmm. and I join in the middle, but still I want to check one uh uh one uh, question that how do you generate the is the love feeling are we generating inside or it is all automatically happening when we are focusing on the heart center are we visualizing using our mind to generate that or identifying how i just i'm struggling with that love feeling how do we have okay first thing we, we just started the practice you don't judge yourself just by one day because it takes some time to go into that state and you cannot generate the love you are not creating it you are just bringing that out you are removing the obstacle that is blocking the love the obstacle is the mind when you remove the mind and the love naturally comes out okay that is how we do so and uh, i'll give you a tip how do you experience okay how do you bring that into the surface one easy way is if you have kids or you have family you must have felt some love for the kid or family member right visualize that love and let that expand and eventually go into that divine love state but the main reason not people able to experience love is because they still in their mind even though they bring their attention to the heart center they still live in their minds when there is a mind you cannot experience the love you should go into that no judgment and no mind state and then that after that whatever is there is the love and you experience that but uh, we have more time practice and practice eventually you will get that don't judge yourself just by 20 minutes of meditation that is my I, mm -hmm, I agree but as you said when it is uh, how we do with the kids or family members but wondering that love is kind of conditional but divine love is different Yes, uh, so, so what you when do... when we focus on the heart center, it will automatically, we will feel or just kind of confuse here. So that is a connecting with the family member, the starting point. You have a kid, right? Mm -hmm. You felt the love and remove the you kid and just be focused on the love that is there. When you remove that person, right? And you have that love. And as you focus on that, that eventually turn into the love. Even the love that you have for the kid, you are looking at the person. If you remove the person and look at the feeling of the love, that is a divine love. Okay. okay understand it? Right? Yeah, it will take time, I think. Yes, eventually, yes, Naturally. it will take time. I will promise it will take time. That's how we do again and again to get that. Can we consider silence of thought as a love? at that moment yes of. if you can be no thought state yes that's love okay thank you sir thank you madam asking that question i know this question everybody has it not this all my previous sessions this is the most difficult thing experiencing the love for many people but yes thank you for asking this is the question of everybody's yes Abhishek. you can go ahead yeah. i'm audible Yes, we can hear you. Thank you. First of all, thank you, Master Sudhakar, for this wonderful session. And uh, secondly, I have a query. Uh, since I'm uh, joining from India, and mm -hmm. I stay is 3 p.m. approximately. Yeah. Today being Sunday, everyone is available. But considering tomorrow, mm -hmm. 3 p.m. would be a working day, and people would be engaged in office activities, professional activities. I would be on travel, uh, I mean, a, a few days in the coming week. Yeah. So is there a uh, schedule that we have to do the meditation on the same time every day or we can do any time, like say in, in the morning when we do our spiritual practices, like I do as, uh, kind of morning meditations every day. Yeah. So can I can I continue this, uh, this uh, practice in the morning time, the day I would not be able to join uh, the, this online. Yeah, absolutely you can do it. That's why we have the YouTube link. So in your morning hours, so practice that. And if you have questions, come back and in the WhatsApp you can post. 
and Saturday, Sunday, you can join the live session. Yeah, sure. And, and I would I would be able to join more days. I mean, uh, it's just Saturday, Sunday, uh, more days. But there would be some days where I would yes. be traveling or would be working. So especially I would take care of the day where there would be the uh, the course would be there for the next uh, week or so. That would I would take care of. Yeah. But uh, considering other days where uh, joining would be a bit, bit difficult uh, just yeah. for this meditation thing. So that I would... Yeah. As long as you practice uh, in a day, that is total fine. And we can practice as much time as possible. Uh, exactly. On yeah. our side. Yes. Like in the evening as well as uh, before going to the bed. Yes. At least I, I recommend at least be, uh, beginning. At least mm -hmm. uh, try it twice a day. And right. once you master and progress, and one time it should be fine. Thank you, sir. That would be all. Thank, awesome. you, Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Sharanya, madam, you can go ahead. Um, thank you, Master. So my question is, uh, when we started the meditation, you said to um, imagine that, uh, visualize that we are uh, holding hands together around Mother Earth yeah. and uh, sitting under the golden crystal pyramid, right? Yeah. So should that thought be throughout the meditation? Because... Um, no. Okay. Just the beginning and we will become one and then focus on yourself. Uh, after that, we are all become one. So there is no other person. Okay. 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 That's clear, okay. right? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So if no questions, friends, uh, we will end up session today. And then we'll meet again tomorrow at the same time, 5.30 a.m. EST and 3 p.m. India time. With that, I thank you all. And I wish you all the best for the course. We'll practice this and we'll see amazing things and so much transformation in our life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you all for who are supporting behind. And thank you, PMC USA YouTube channel. Thank you, my dear friends. See you tomorrow.